Okay, so real quick shout out for this video to whoever bought me my coffee today. I went to go and get my, you know, nitro cold brew, whatever the hell this is that keeps me vertical. And I just got to the window. And they're like, oh, you're all good, Ben. Have a good day. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. So either one of two things happen. The person in front of me bought me my own coffee, highly unlikely, or someone in the store knows who I am and bought me a coffee. So whoever you were, shout out to you. You're the reason this video is happening. And you're the reason why I'm vertical right now. All right, heyo guys, my name is Beta Ada Delota, and welcome to another furry meme review. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of upset. I hate starting off a video saying I'm upset or I'm angry. I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> because as we know, the last meme video we did on Night Sea did very well. Like, everyone loved it, and I'm glad you guys loved it. It was completely off the cuff. Meanwhile, every other video that I do, which is for the betterment of mankind, I think, didn't even compare to that video. So as much as I'm upset, I'm grateful, it just means I know what you guys want now. So that's why today we're doing another one of my furry meme reviews. I'm gonna keep the style that I have going with this and uh, I want to focus on one artist again. So just like the last sort of meme review thing we did on Nightsy, we're gonna be doing this on a similar artist, though with a differing style, differing humor, and in my opinion, better character development. No offense Nightsy, I love Nightsy, he's very sweet, but this artist has started around the same time Nightsy has and their character development within a year has been crazy. So I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. Who are we going over? Well, I'd like to introduce you to Tux Collie, also known as Tux the Collie. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if most of you watching this knew who he is, but basically, Tux Collie does about the same thing as what Nightsy does. They do furry meme art, they do comics, and all these other things of what they're feeling or what they're really in the mood to vibe with or laughing about. It's just relatable furry memes. But I've known about Tux for a long while, actually since he first created his account. I've actually never met him. I've talked to him a bunch, but we're gonna get on to what happens with that. So let's just start from the beginning. Alright, so Tux Collie. Yeah, I knew him ever since, like, February or so of last year. I'm never gonna call him Tucker, I'm just gonna call him Tux. He's adorable as hell though, like my god. His art style is so simplistic, so cartoony. It reminds me a bit of like that old commentary community like art style that I used to know and love. Ugh, maybe that's why I love it. I don't know. From the time that I've talked to him and gotten to know him, they're just, they're so innocent. That is the way I can say it, like wholeheartedly, they're innocent. Let's do what we usually do. So we got profile, we go to media, and we just all the way down. As some of you who follow him know, he does just the usual art. Most of it is more relatable than anything because I know he's a college student. I don't know what major he's going into, but still, I can relate heavily to his pain with working and failing despite doing everything you can not to fail. And he did fan art for Jib Cody. I love it. But you know what? It's just adorable as hell. It's just cute. It's simple. Y you ever have that feeling of the art style speaks about the character or the person? This is kind of the big example of what we're in for. Also, a little note about this. I don't know how many of these are actual memes. It's more so me looking through cute art and being in that mood of like, you know what, screw you. I want to be happy and Tux's art makes me happy. It puts me in a good mood. Oh, it's so cute. Though here's the thing, I don't start my morning with hot coffee, I always start it with iced coffee. Because for me, my mentality is, hey, I don't want to wait to be able to drink what I just bought, okay? I want the caffeine inside me, because more than likely, I just bought that coffee 10 minutes before class started. I need that inside me to at least understand what's happening. And hot coffee ain't covering it, I'm sorry. He just needs like a big hug. It's just like, no, no, you go back to bed, you sleep, just get some rest. Trust me, one hour is all it takes most of the time. Softness test, aroma test. Taste test. Arf. I love that last image so much. Like, look at that last panel. It's so cute. Oh. I'm melting right now. I needed this. So apparently, Tux was a fan of my stuff before he actually made a Twitter and he made this cute little art piece of his bean. Oh, I love it so much. This one made me feel really special. It's so cute. It's so innocent. It's so chill. Tux is a bean. I haven't met him. I, I don't know when I will actually, but I've talked to him enough and he just, he's such a chill and cool dude. Oh, here's a meme, I think. Gearing up. You are a man. You're a man. And he's afraid of the vacuum. Oh my god. It's character development and I love it. He's got a border collie who's afraid of vacuum cleaners. Oh, my heart. Oh, look at that. In a month he hit a thousand followers. Tux, you're killing it, hon. And look at that face. Look at that face. This is a bean who is so happy and so proud of himself. And you know what? He deserves every bit of it. So tired common sense. New system operational. New system operational. The fur dar. <laughs> 
<laughs> that face. Yep, that says a lot. So fun fact about me, uh, even speaking of this Starbucks thing that I got from, I guess, what I'm assuming would be a fan. I understand a furry radar exists for people. I just haven't experienced it because usually people find me before I find them. I mean, I'll say it. It's it's the best feeling in the world knowing that like people recognize me and they want to beat me and say hi. Like, oh my God, I sound like an egotist. I don't like that. <gasps> no, who hurt him? I'm upset. Who hurt him? Oh, someone critiqued his art. Well, not in that matter, but just like vague. Why do people have to be assholes when you don't need them to be? <gasps> oh, I'll give you whatever you want. I'll give him anything. Like, that's it. See, but I even said that like a year ago. I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> Ooh, new style. Okay. I like it. See, look, character development that one special day where everything is just right with the world. You know, I need to get outside more often. I don't think I've seen the sun in like a week. This is so cute though. I totally would take a day to do this if allergies weren't awful right now too. Oh my God, they hurt. Oh look, 50% off cereal. Oh, why do you even care if a box of cereal is on sale? That's stupid. Hush tucks, don't use mean words. Oh score, 50% off cereal. Wait, hold on. Rice Krispies? At least tell me those are honey nut. If you're wasting your money on regular Cheerios and regular Rice Krispies and being like, ah, oh, yes, cereal. What are you doing? Bruh. Even if it's on sale, I'm not buying that, okay? If I wanted fiber in me, I'd just take one of the, my Amazon packages or something. Midterms are done. Spring break is here. I am free! You know what's great about this? Like, I can capture the emotion and sort of the voice that Tux has in this. Like, this is kind of the thing that I really appreciate about furry artists like this, is that they're able to capture the emotion and the personality of the character that they want to have. Like, I don't know what Tux is like IRL, but I'm assuming the collie or character he wants to be is more like this. Like, you can feel the energy from this picture. That's what I love about stuff like this. And that's what I feel like Tux has improved a lot in with his content. Whether it be just singular art pieces or comics. I guess that's all he does nowadays. But hey, you know, people like it. Don't stop doing it. That's what I said about these meme reviews. Look at this! Like, even with this, I don't know the context of this. He went skiing. I think. Look at his face. Look at how happy he is. He maybe had a little bit of a, a rough way down the hill, but you know what? He's happy. You can see his tail wagging. You can see the energy in it. That's what I love. How showers are supposed to work. How showers tend to actually work. How my shower works. Why? I mean, my shower generally works this way. I'm, I guess I'm just lucky. I don't know. Okay. This has to be the best one. Look at that blep. He said he might delete this lid. Oh, he better not. The moment when you realize you'll be heading home in a couple of weeks and have no explanation to why you now have a drawing tablet. Could, because you want to draw? I mean, I get the whole meme with it of like, oh, great. They know I'm a furry. That's just weird to me. It's like, why do you have a drawing tablet? Because I, I, want, I want to learn how to draw. Are you serious? Oh, no, it's because you're a furry. You're a filthy furry. People like that actually exist. This meme is justified. Oh, boy. Oh, what classes? Calc 2. I'm assuming that's... English or engineer. Yeah, no wonder your semester sucks. You're taking literally all the hardest courses all in the same semester. Calc 2 is all right, though. You, I can help with the integrals. Don't worry. Oh, okay. So here this is. So speaking of the commission thing with Tux, because I've wanted to commission him for a while. I actually did commission him in the past, sort of, because I loved his art. I loved what he did. He hadn't drawn Maverick before, but honestly, like, I wanted him to. And I was in the process of trying to get my video for my first suit unboxing set up. I needed art for the thumbnail. And I was just asking around, and then Tux comes out of nowhere and is like, hey, sup, I can help with that. But still, like, Tux randomly hit me up about this, even though he has my telegram and can just message me anytime. I'm like, hey, can you do this for me? You know, I'll pay you whatever. Just let me know your PayPal and all that. I need this, this, this. He's like, no, no, don't worry about it. You're all good. I'm like, that's not how that works. Commissions are not free. And he left me on red. And then like three days later, he sent me this. And it was exactly what I needed. It was perfect. I'm like, God damn it. I want to give you money. But still, thank you again for that, Tux. I adore it so much. And I got to give you one of the stickers of it one day. But still, I'd, I'd love to commission him again. And I know exactly what I'm paying him in. Let me actually get this up. Let's see. How many is this? Two. Okay. What's your address? Honestly, that's how I'm willing to pay for a commission at this point. I feel like this will do more good for him than he thinks. Oh my god. I don't even have to read the caption here to understand what pain you're going through. College, yep, that's honestly, yeah. I just had to see that face and I, I understood the full picture of what was going on. You poor bean, you need cuddles. You need fursuit cuddles. Ooh, he's refining his style a bit more. I like it. 
It's scarf season. Oh my god. I love this. He looks cute in a scarf. Oh, I know what this is. This is his Inktober thing that he was setting up. Yeah, he did Inktober and he did a bunch of like comics and a little bit of a story with Tux and werewolf Tux. Oh my god. You know what I'm getting right now? I'm getting vibes of um, Crunch from Crash Bandicoot. Anyone else getting those vibes? Oh, and this is traditional now. So this is when he started working with traditional art, I believe. The point is, this is where he kind of changed things up for Inktober. More character development and more content. This is like a day's worth of content. And I've been here for about an hour and a half. Other border collies. Me. I mean, yeah, that's 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 me too. Because honestly, I actually was like a biomedical engineering major, which technically would have been sort of this, not really actually. And then I went to mechanical, and this is mechanical, <laughs> at least from my perspective. Okay, so since it's the end of the year and on his Twitter, this is what I meant by character development. Just the absolute glow up in the span of a year is so great. So you have original tux. Look at that. My god, I know I could say several things about like, this is where you could be a year later when doing art or practicing or whatever. I'm not even focusing on that. I'm more so focusing on the character development. Like Tux has kind of realized who he wants to be and his style, I think. I don't want to speak for him entirely, but look at that. This is the glow up. I could end this video here and be the happiest bean, but we're missing one more thing for the, like the character development of this. But basically around this time, I believe, or a little bit earlier, Tux has been wanting a fursuit. He's been wanting his own character. He's been wanting to be him at a convention wherever and literally within a year and a half there it is look at that look at that it's tux he's now a bean i'm so so happy my god tucker the border collie he's finally alive and uh hopefully i'll get to meet him at a con one day he got to wear his suit and he's got the outfit i love it tux honestly i'm so happy for you with how far you've come in the span of a year and a half and now you have a fursuit you've got more ways to express yourself and honestly you've got so much to like look forward to and i'm really excited to see it i'm really excited to see you grow and i'm really happy to see how far you've come now and if anyone wants to go and follow tux feel free to do so there isn't as much as nightsy in terms of memes but i'd argue that this is probably like the cutest set of furry memes that i've seen because most of them aren't even memes it's just like more art than anything but it's memes sprinkled into the point where you can say that they're memes and you know what i respect that that's a good way to market you don't have to do comics every time you can just be entertaining regardless i need to be horizontal i'm gonna go <laughs> i'll see you guys later